Oh, hey. Oh, man. Here we go. Um, okay, first of all, right off right off the start, uh, listen to this. Oh, now now it doesn't want to do it. Okay, well. Oh, oh. No, oh, 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 oh. This chair is probably the squeakiest chair I've ever been in. So if you hear a rogue, weird, uh, farty, squeaky-esque sound, it's this chair. Um, oh, there it is right there. The creakiest, cronkiest chair I've ever sat in. And it's not me uh, farting profusely. Uh, believe me, if I fart, you'll know. Uh, anyway, so um, I guess this is going to be the pilot to my podcast that that you're, you're currently listening to. Um, it's called This Again, uh, maybe with a couple dots in front of it. I don't know. If you're listening to this and it's not called This Again... I'm sorry, I, I'm not a time-traveling wizard. You can't expect that much from me. I can't can't just travel time and figure out what I'm going to call things in the future and then come back and tell you about it. It's not how it works. Uh, if I was a time-traveling wizard, I don't think you could expect enough from me. You should be expecting the world from a time-traveling wizard because uh, that I, I think that's just how time travel and wizardry works. You could do whatever you want, so why wouldn't you do, just do everything? I don't know. Uh, so anyway, uh, I guess what I, what the the main goal here is for me to just say things and hopefully people listen. Uh, if they don't listen, then uh, th- this is a really one sided podcast, and it's just me shouting things into the black abyss and uh, getting no response. So we'll, hopefully that's not the case. Uh, I'm drinking iced coffee right now. I don't know if that surprises anybody. Um, I'm, I'm drinking uh, coffee from Fire Roasted Coffee. Uh, I guess you could say that I cold brewed this coffee. Uh, I just kind of ground it up and put it in the fridge, and uh, it, it, it's it's good. It, it's Colombian. It's a light roast, and uh, I put a a big old bunch of uh, of, of espresso in it. Um, espresso that's named after a particular bridge that's supposedly haunted, uh, that, that's local. It's a local bridge. Ah, it's good shit. Uh, bri- um, the, the bridge, uh, is supposed to be haunted. I don't know. Um, somebody, I think somebody jumped off of it once and, uh, and, and did not, did not live when they hit the ground. Um, cause there's like an inch of water underneath it. But, uh, um, the bridge is supposed to be haunted, and, uh, one time, my brother and I were walking underneath it at night, and we could hear whistling, like, somebody was fucking whistling, and it was the creepiest thing, because there, there was nobody in the whole perimeter, we couldn't see anybody, but we could hear, clearly, somebody whistling, and then, uh, so we, we went, we went across the bridge, then we had to come back across the bridge again, and we looked up, and there was just somebody sitting on top of the bridge whistling like an asshole. Uh, I don't know who sits on top of bridges at night and whistles. Uh, by the way, this is like a covered bridge um, with wires and metal. But he was sitting on top of the bridge whistling like a piece of shit. Uh, you know, I'm fairly certain he was trying to spook people. And that's the way to do it. Uh, congratulations, guy who whistles on top of bridge. You did it. Uh, you could go home now. You can. You Congratulations. You spooked us. Um, Another time we were walking across the bridge and Kylie, uh, Kylie swears she saw some, like a shadow duck down to the side of the bridge. And I'm fairly certain I also saw it, but uh, it it looked like somebody was getting ready to spook us. But then there was nobody at the end of the bridge when we got there. Uh, I don't know why people gravitate to that bridge to try and spook people, but they do. Uh, uh, That's good coffee. Um, so, uh, part of this podcast, I'm hoping, I'm hoping to get some stories from you guys of some weird, fucked up stuff that, man, I shouldn't, why am I swearing? This podcast is off to a great start. I've already been swearing a bunch. All right. Um, if you have, a a story about some messed up stuff or, I don't know, maybe some, some spookalooky stuff, uh, go ahead and email me at thisagainpodcast at gmail.com. Um, uh, you can, and, and maybe if, if, if you, if it's a story, I'll read it. If it's not a story, I 
probably won't. Uh, I, if it's a picture, I, I just not a whole lot I can do with that. But um, like uh, it, it, when you send the email, put some words in the email, and then uh, use the subject line to kind of sum up what your story's about. So that way uh, I can just read the subject lines, and it'll save some time for everybody. <clears throat> oh, did you, I don't know if, if the microphone can pick up that, but it sounds like somebody is using a power saw outside. He used a power saw outside! He's probably using a power saw outside. So uh, I, I guess we'll um, we'll just deal with that. Oh my god, this chair. It's killing me. It's killing me. Um... So, oh man, what else, what else is new? I don't know. I went to a, a truck stop buffet yesterday. I uh, didn't know truck stops had buffets, but uh, they do. Um, this particular one, I believe, was called Husky. I don't know if you guys have Husky where you are right now, wherever you're listening to this. Uh, if you have a Husky truck stop, that's where I went to the buffet. Crazy stuff. Um, I gotta say... If there's a place where I can get food, and then after I get that food, put cheesecake on top of that food, and then eat it, uh, I'm in. That's that's it. Uh, I love it. That's the best place. And this truck stop buffet, I put cheesecake on a waffle. Uh, don't know what I was thinking, but I'm glad I did it. Uh, no regrets on that, except I'm probably going to die at an early age, so... Uh, I, I, I guess there are some regrets because I'm going to die at an early age. It's cheesecake waffle. Take, take it home. Make it. Don't make it. That's terrible. It was, it was terrible. Um, but it was so good. And then I had a, a, a bowel movement as you do after eating just the weirdest. I wanted chicken and waffles, but th they had chicken and waffles. I, I ate them separately. I don't know if you're supposed to put them together. Uh, it's, it's like a Southern, um, uh, in America thing. I don't, I don't know. I, if, if you, um, if you eat chicken and waffles, uh, go ahead and describe that to me, uh, tweet it to me or, or send it an email. Tell me all about your chicken and waffles. Oh, my phone. And the, there's a cat. It, you know, whenever I need things to be quiet, I gotta tell you, these cats, what are you doing? She's currently putting her head in a box that is too small for her head to be in. Thank you. Okay, listen. Hold on. You're making... Yeah, run. Run. Making all kinds of noise. I'm trying to record a podcast over here. Real professional, guys. Real, real professional. Ugh. Ah, oh, man. These cats, they're... They're gonna be the death of me, I swear. Um, they're always... Make a noise whenever I need to, to, to be no noise. That, that's about all I do, really. Um, where, where, where was I? I was, oh, yes. Uh, bowel movements. Um, I was talking about having a bowel movement, because why not? Why not make this podcast all about a bowel movement? Um, my mom, she has bowel movements. That's a great segue to this, what, this idea. Uh, um, so my mom has this thing. It's called a squatty potty. And... Um, I, I know what you're thinking. I was completely skeptical when I also saw it. Hopefully you're you're being skeptical. Uh, if you're not being skeptical and you already know where I'm going with this. Uh, God bless you. Uh, but, um... <laughs> so, it's like this stool for you to make stool. But it goes at the base of your toilet so you can get more leverage with your legs. Oh, man. My computer. Uh, so, I, I guess you... you like, the way, the idea is, is that your knees are supposed to be, you're supposed to be squatting when, when you take a dump. That's how it goes. Uh, and my mom, uh, she bought this squatty potty, all of a sudden became a dumping expert. She knows everything that you need to know to take a dump. Uh, she, she's, uh, like, she's, like she went to college for dumping. Uh, she has a, a PhD in taking a dump. Um, so she goes off. Telling me all about how you have to be squatting, and that's the, the real way to take a dump. Uh, and, sure, why not? Um, I gotta tell you, squatting and uh, taking a dump is not comfortable. Uh, it's not a comfortable way to take a dump. I don't know why humans would evolve to take them that way. Because, I mean, 
usually when I, when I have them, uh, when I'm speaking from experience, I'm, I'm like, I like to, I like to hang out. I like to just kind of sit there and, uh, enjoy myself, take my time. Um, I'll, I'll read Twitter, uh, and, uh, I'll, I'll sit there, but apparently you're supposed to just squat, get it over with and leave. But I don't like it. I don't see why we would ever evolve to do it that way. Why? What's the point of that? That's not fun. Anyway, so the squatty potty is supposed to, uh, to, to position you in a squatting position. And, um, I saw it and I was like, you know, that's, um, that's kind of dumb. <laughs> who would ever, who would ever do all oh, that's So dumb. Uh, what, 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 uh, I would never, but I'm gonna this one time. Um, I like, I didn't even have to go. Uh, and my mom said that, um, her friend didn't have to go, but she, she put her feet up and then a dump fell out of her. So I was like, maybe me, maybe I'll have this, a similar experience. And, uh, let me tell you, I did. Uh, it fell right out of me. And, um, that's why I'm probably going to go buy one when I, <laughs> next time I go to, 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 to showcase, which is where you buy all the, uh, as seen on TV things. Oh man, I am uh, going to tweet right now. Um, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do a little Q and a, I, I think that'll be a good idea. Uh, uh, send me some, some questions. Uh, hashtag this again. Uh, uh, send me some questions and maybe I will answer them on my podcast. Hashtag this again. All right. Boop. Okay. So there we go. Let's uh, give that a bit to, uh, for that to roll in. Um, anyway. Oh boy. Uh, what was, what was uh, I had a, a thing. I should be really writing down what I want to talk about. Uh, because a lot of the time I'll have an idea and then I'll sit down in front of a recording device and then that idea just goes away. It goes away and never comes back. Um, Anyway, <laughs> um, I, I guess I'll, I'll tell you, I, I work at a, a bookstore now. I have a job, a real life job. I'm a functioning cog in society, just spinning, moving other cogs, helping the, the big, su the system of cogs, uh, spin and, um, and interlock and, and move whatever we're moving. Uh, cause that's usually, I guess, cogs spin with like gears and that's what I am. I am, I am finally one of those again after, I don't know, six years of not having a functioning job, a job where I can be with pants, a, a job where I have to put stuff on. Um, and, uh, the, the shift is, is fairly early in the morning. And so what the orientation was also fairly early in the morning, but I went to it and, um, we have, uh, there's a computer there, uh, w w which is a good thing because a lot of places don't have computers and that's how they get robbed. Cause there's no computers. Uh, I, that, that's not a fact, but, uh, she was putting our names into the system on the computer and, uh, she put mine in and, uh, my name has a, a zero two at the end, but nobody else has any numbers. So, uh, I was like, Oh, is there another, uh, is there another M Gibson? And she's like, yeah, at the other store, I think. And, um, what, what I said was there can only be one. Uh, I don't, I didn't really say it too loud because I was really tired because it was in the morning, but I said, it's like, there can only be one. And, uh, nobody said anything at all. Uh, not a laugh, not like a groan. Not like a, oh, this guy, oh, we're gonna have to keep an eye on you. Nothing. My joke went over their heads and I'm just, I'm hoping that they didn't hear it. I'm hoping that, uh, that, that they, uh, it's just, it didn't register that I said anything because it was so early in the morning. Hopefully it was just like, oh, he mumbled something. Oh, that's great. That's what we do. We mumble. But, uh, I'm fairly certain they all heard it and, uh, immediately thought, we have made a mistake hiring this guy because clearly he's a psychopath. Uh, he, uh, he's, he's, he's insane and um, we're going to have to keep an eye on him because he's going to murder us. Oh, yeah. Pouring some coffee. 
So, uh, right now I'm fairly certain that I have to murder somebody because that's what they're expecting from me. And, uh, they should set the bar a little lower because I don't want to murder anybody. Ah, coffee. I probably shouldn't be drinking this much coffee because I'm going to be awake forever. But whatever, it's noon and, uh, I'll do what I want because I'm home alone. I'll, uh, I'll show an, an, an obscenity if an, an obscenity. Um, how do you pronounce that word? Obs obscenity. Uh, uh, I have a stuffy nose, so nothing's coming out right. Ass. Nothing. The cat looked. The cat looked. Um. Anyway. So we have some questions. I'm gonna go ahead and read through them. Uh, I can already tell you. Blah. Uh, that that was a burp, and uh, I'm probably not going to answer all these questions, but we'll see. First one here, uh, what was my dream job as a child? I think I've probably talked about this before. Um, when I was a kid, uh, besides being like a ninja turtle, I was pretty into forklifts and driving them. Uh, I always wanted to be a forklift driver at uh, what is now Costco. I think it used to be called something else. Uh, if not, then... I, whatever that other store was. Uh, I don't know what seemed so glamorous about it to me, but I was always like, fucking forklift driver, I'm gonna do it. That, that, or I also wanted to drive a helicopter, which is funny because not only am I terrified of heights, I hate driving. Both of my dream jobs as a child involved driving, and, uh, I don't do it yet. It's been 25 years, have not, uh, really driven. I've had a license for a while, but I let it expire because... I live in a city where there's uh, there's public transportation or a walk, so I I uh, I, don't, I didn't see the point of having it, but I'm slowly seeing the point of having it because sometimes I'm like I wish I could go a little further than the edge of town. Uh, I don't know something I'm working on. Uh, when did I get my piercings? A long ass time ago. Not quite sure uh, where that question is going uh, or the purpose of it, but it is a question. And, uh, I got, I got them a long time ago. Oh, excuse, excuse this, this stuffy nose. Um, mm -mm, mm -mm. what did, uh, what did I mean in, in college? What, what was my college experience like? Um, I went, I went to a, a local college, uh, Funshaw, as it's known because I don't think all the people get a lot of work done there. Um, and I, I went for, uh broadcast television because I thought that that would be fun. Uh, learn how to edit, you know, you uh, use some cameras and, um, it was not fun. Uh, it was actually a big boring waste of time. I, uh, I don't know. I just, I didn't enjoy it. Uh, I learned a lot of things that I had taught myself over the internet, which was kind of annoying to do. Uh, you kind of sit down and you're like, I paid five grand. I hope there's some knowledge coming my way. But then it's like, well, let's open up a uh, Photoshop and let me show you how to draw a line. That is no joke. I learned how to draw a line, one line. Uh, they didn't even, they weren't even like, hold shift down to make the line straight. They're like, just draw a line and pray to God. Um, so that was pretty upsetting. Uh, and I pretty much, uh, as soon as she said that, she was like, we sat down to the next class and she's like, all right, today we're going to draw shapes. And I, uh. I took my backpack, packed up my shit, and I never went back to college again. I got up and I left because I'm not going to sit around and learn how to draw shapes for $5,000. Thank you. Uh, actually, it was $10,000. $5,000 per semester. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll spend my $5,000 on a new computer, and that's what I did. That's what I did, and now that computer is a heap of shit. Right, computer? Huh? It's been, like, what, six years? You're a computer. You don't talk. Um, but, uh, you do shut down, uh, a lot. You do, you go to sleep whenever you feel like it. Usually when I'm, I'm, I'm working really hard. So, uh, I, I think it's time to get a new computer eventually. Um, but that was my highest, my college experience. I mean, it's not going to be the same for everybody. Uh, but that's what I had to, to go through and I hated it. Um, and I uh, thank God I got out because, um, I, uh, I have a lot of friends on Facebook who I went to college with, and I haven't been impressed by anything they've posted. 
that's how I'm gauging, um, that, that's how I, I'm, I'm gauging my life and how well it's going. I'll, I'll check out what everybody else is up to on Facebook, which I hate so much. I hate Facebook, but, uh, usually it's a lot of, uh, oh, go, <laughs> Oh, uh, had a kid. Um, I'm I'm here doing the same thing every day at my job. Oh, I uh, I I I work uh, at the TV station, and and uh, I want to put a gun in my mouth. That's usually how it goes. But uh, anyway, so give college a try. You'll probably you'll probably like it. I didn't. Um, how do you deal with having not having a date to homecoming while your friends have dates? Uh, who cares? I'll be my my, my first answer, second answer, uh, just do it, just, uh, if you want to go to homecoming, just go to homecoming, why do you have to hang out with somebody there, they're probably a sucky person, they probably have, uh, ideas and thoughts that are different from yours, and, uh, and it'll be weird, so why, why bother, uh, I didn't, I don't even know what homecoming is, it, it's just, it's the first, didn't school just start? How, how come you're having homecoming? Isn't that... I guess if school is home, you're coming home. But I always thought homecoming was at the end of the year. Uh, I don't know. If you want to go to homecoming so bad, just go to homecoming. Who cares? Whatever. Maybe somebody else will also be going stag, and then you'll hook up there. I don't know. That's the magic of homecoming, I guess. <laughs> Uh, I'm just scrolling through some questions here. Uh, uh, uh all right. Well, um, <laughs> that's the end of the question segment, I guess. Great questions. Um, sent in a lot of good ones. Like how, how do you newspaper? And, uh, how is my day going? My day just started. Literally. This is, this is what I'm doing. I woke up, had a shower, threw down a podcast we made it happen. Um, we made it happen, and it's been happening for a good uh, 22 minutes now. I um, I want to say that's a solid place to leave off. Um, so uh, uh, next week, if hopefully if this went well, we'll do another one. We'll do another podcast. What can you expect? I want to read some of your stories. So do email me at uh, this again podcast at gmail .com. Send me some, uh, send me some stories of something embarrassing or weird that's happened to you. Um, perhaps I'll have Jay on. I don't know. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'm sure I'll have some, some mundane, boring stuff to describe to you. Hopefully I'll make it interesting. Uh, if you're gonna be, uh, eating at a buffet, try, try a truck stop buffet because they have bottomless cheesecake. You, you just keep scooping that cheesecake out and then they bring you more cheesecake and, um, that's how I want to die, I think. Um, putting cheesecake on things that don't need cheesecake on them. But really, I'm pretty sure everything does need cheesecake on it. That's th that's the point of cheesecake. Cheesecake is more of a topping to me now. I don't see cheesecake as a dessert. I see cheesecake as a... As like, it's like ketchup to me. I just squeeze it out of a bottle onto something. That sounds... That's, that's disgusting. Um, anyway. Uh, so... Don't don't be afraid of the truck stop buffet. It's 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 worth your time, uh, and um and d d d yeah. So I will see you guys with n not see you guys. Uh, I'll t <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Okay. Uh, goodbye. Uh, I'm gonna drink this coffee now. Mm -mm. Oh God, it's so good. <clears throat> All right, bye. <laughs>